What do we all spend time every week doing? Is that is creating documents, reviewing, summarizing, and refining them. So can Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft's latest AI technology, help us out when it comes to working with documents inside of Microsoft Word? Well, I'm gonna be showing you how we can do exactly that. Let's imagine that me and you are starting up with a brand new coffee shop. We're gonna to need to create new documents like business plans and other materials like blog posts for our new business to make it a success. And we're gonna to need to use Microsoft Word to do that. But where something would have taken hours or days, we're gonna turn that round and simply do that in minutes, creating professional documents that we can refine later and make even better to move forward with our brand new coffee shop. So I'm gonna talk you through those scenarios, showing you live on the screen, creating that content, and also how we can better do our prompts to make Copilot do all the work for us. And before we dive in and share all of that amazing content, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. 78% of viewers of our last video were not subscribed to our channel. And guess what? We've got even more great content coming on Microsoft Copilot and Microsoft 365 to turn you into a productivity superstar. So by simply hitting that subscribe button, you're gonna get the latest and greatest content from us to change how you work and spend time on the better things in life. So let's dive into Microsoft Word and have Copilot help us on that journey of creating our brand new coffee shop. So to start us on the journey of creating our new coffee shop, we're gonna need a business plan. And how are we gonna go ahead and do that, especially considering we may have never written one of these before? Well, we can have Copilot help us out. When I've got Copilot configured inside of Microsoft Word, as soon as I load up Word and open a blank document, I'm gonna get a draft with Copilot dialog box appear. And within here, we can ask Copilot to help us out with some content. So let's begin to create our first prompt, which will allow Copilot to begin to create content for us. Now I've added some content here, and I could go ahead and ask Copilot to create some content, but that is nowhere near specific enough. We need to be really tailored in how we approach Copilot with our problem. So rather than just requiring a business plan, I'm gonna extend this out to include additional information about our coffee shop, what we're gonna serve, the location and the demographics to make sure Copilot understands what it needs to include in our business plan. Now I've gave Copilot a little bit more information, which is great, but I would still say that's not enough information. What I really want to ensure is the content that we create is going to meet our standard. As whilst we now provide Copilot information on the coffee shop that we want to actually create, we're gonna go ahead and also tell Copilot the type of document and the tone we need to use and the key points to consider when it creates our new business plan. So with that done, we can go ahead and then click on the generate button inside a draft with Copilot. It'll take that information and then begin to create our brand new business plan and we'll start to see it being delivered live on the screen as Copilot begins to create it. And then when it finishes, we'll be able to review what it's been created and make any changes. And there we go, we now have a business plan created by Copilot, and let's take a look at what it's created for us just in a couple of minutes. Well, as you can see, it's already created an executive summary at the top, outlining what the business plan is for, the vision, the missions, and the goals. It also goes further, how much initial investment will require to actually cover the costs of leasing, renovating, and equipping the premises with all of our relevant material. And it also goes into more detail, here it covers the initial investment required to get our coffee shop up and running. And as we scroll down, we can also see it's even assumed the opening times and also the days it's gonna be open for trading. And also the sales targets that we would need to look at over a period of time. And our strategies about using fair trade organic coffee beans, having free Wi-Fi and so forth. And not only that, it also went further down we actually looked into research around the UK coffee shop market. It's actually been worth over £10 billion to further outline why our business plan is likely to succeed when we open our new coffee shop. And also competitors such as Cafe Nero, Pret and others in the local area. Even going into more detail around the marketing side, how should we market our products? We could use different types of products as you can see here, espressos, cappuccinos and lattes and more and how we can use online tools to promote ourselves as well. But importantly, our financial plan. What revenue would expect expenses and profit in the first three years of trading? 
So as you can see, Copilot has done a pretty awesome job of creating something we can use straight out of the box. But we can also make refinements. A further box at the bottom here will now allow us to make changes. As you can see, it says one of one. This is the first draft that Copilot has created. And I could go ahead and click on the blue keep it to keep that actual revision inside of the Word document. But actually, it's a great document, but it needs some changes. So here we can fine tune the draft and add some more detail and regenerate the content. And what I can see it's done here, well it's actually called Modern Coffee Shop. And that's because I didn't give the coffee shop a name right at the start. So let's tell Copilot to update Modern Coffee Shop to the best coffee shop in the world. And as you can see, I've now created that prompt inside a Copilot adjusting that name. Let's go ahead and then click on the generate button and we'll see what Copilot does next. And there we have it. Copilot has now made changes. So let's go scroll right up to the top of the document and we'll see immediately that the title has been adjusted. It's now the best coffee shop in the world. And all throughout the copy of the document, well, it's also updated that name. Now, if for any reason, maybe this version wasn't correct. Well, the good news is in Copilot, we can actually step through the different revisions. Here's the first revision that we also looked at earlier, where it was modern coffee shop. And here's the second revision that we made with the best coffee shop in the world. And I'm quite happy with this content now, so I'm going to go ahead and click on keep it. But there's also a problem in this document. Because we didn't tell Copilot who was going to own and run the company, it's made an assumption. Jane Smith will be running the company. I have no idea who Jane Smith is, so we need to remove that from our document. So let's go ahead and remove that paragraph from here. But the other problem there is, we've got no information on who's going to own this company. Can Copilot help us out without recreating the whole document? And it certainly can. Once again, click on the Copilot button inside of Microsoft Word. And in here, describe what I'd like to write. Well here, I can give it a prompt to insert a paragraph around the owner of the company being myself, but also put it in reference to the wider document. Let's go ahead and add that prompt into Copilot. Now here, I've created a prompt simply adding that add my name that I'll be the actual coffee shop owner and also highlighting I have no experience of running coffee shops but we still want to have good investors so I've also told Copilot to write it in a way that people will believe in my experience and also make a good investment in our coffee shop. Let's go ahead and click on generate to generate that paragraph of content and there we have it Copilot's now created that paragraph also outlining me as the coffee shop owner and as you can see, it's assumed to have a background in accounting and finance. Again, I could adjust that, but you can also see that in this paragraph, it's also putting across my passion and enthusiasm for coffee and customer service. And I'm committed to make the best coffee shop in the world, well, the best coffee shop in the world. So that can really help when you're working with your documents, inserting paragraphs in the overall context of the document and also asking it for writing it in a particular tone. But once again, we can also adjust it. For example, that paragraph, well, it's a bit too long. All we need to do is tell Copilot to make it shorter, to bring down that content and make it fit in the overall document. Why don't we take a short break and I can let you know a little bit more about what we can do for you. Because at Your365 Coach, we're all about empowering how you and your team work, turning you into productivity superstars. So whether you're struggling in Copilot, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint or more, we've got the answers for you. Check out our website below and you can get access to on-demand learning courses as well as individual time with myself and also with your wider team to help you with the problems that you have and we can guide you through to find the appropriate solutions and give you the skills that you need. And whilst you're there, why not download our free Microsoft 365 ebook? It's one click away to help you get the most from Microsoft 365 that you can download today. Otherwise, let's dive back into Copilot and see what more it can do for you. As we can see here, there's now a section in a document that's all around the market analysis. And some of this data well, would be better presented as a table of data. Investors are unlikely going to want to read paragraphs and paragraphs information. So here, let's consider the UK coffee shop market, what it's worth, the number of outlets and the growth, and also the annual growth rate itself. What I can do is highlight that content inside of Microsoft Word, left click on the Copilot icon to the left, and I can visualize that data as a table. It'll take that information and now form a table and insert it straight into our document. 
And there we go, we now have a table of data inside of our document. But as we can see, it's missing a few years. We've only got 2019 and in 2024 projected. What happened to all the other years? Well, let's go and make a change. In here, I can again click on the Copilot icon to the left. And now I'd like to do is describe what I want it to create. I wanted to create that growth table, but also I want it to include the other years it's missed. Let's go ahead and create a prompt for that. And as you can see, while the prompt I've created does exactly that, I'd actually said that the table it created was wrong. We need more information, including the additional years, but I've been really specific on what I expect it to create. Let's go ahead and generate that content inside a Copilot. And there we have it. We now have an updated table and also under it explaining where the numbers are coming from. 2020 was the COVID-19 pandemic and then also explaining the overall market growth. So we can now go ahead and keep this content. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go and remove the other table we have, which is entirely wrong. And we can also make some formatting changes to make this table work better in a document. We've easily created there content inside of a table taken from sources that would take me hours to pull through together myself, but also make adjustments where I felt Copilot was wrong. So this document is now ready to go, but also maybe I should go and check this with Copilot to make sure it covers all the sections we need for our business plan. So we don't need the content generated in here via Word. So what I'm gonna go ahead is open the sidebar inside of Word. This Copilot sidebar is very similar to what we use across other apps, including Bing as well. It can generate content, but I find it much better at summarizing and understanding and reviewing data than creating content in a document itself. So let's go ahead and ask Copilot to also summarize this document. All we need to do, well, there's a quick option here to summarize this document and it'll summarize it for us. Once we have that output, we can then check if everything is in the report that we need. And with that summary complete, we can actually scroll through it. Here, the financial plan, the marketing plan, and so forth, all taken from that document itself. So we can summarize it and understand if we've covered the key areas that we need inside of that document. But if we're still not 100% certain, why not ask Copilot? Let's go ahead and also ask it to ensure we've covered all the areas we need in our business plan. And there we go, I've now added my prompt into Copilot asking if it's covered all the areas we'd expect in a good business plan. We'll go ahead and ask it to check it and see if there's anything else that we've missed. And there we go, Copilot has also reviewed the content and also expects that all the information we need is in that document. But of course, as with anything that AI is generated, we should always review it, make changes, and make sure it meets our requirements. What we've seen is a very simple way to get up and running with a business plan, create it professionally, and then also make changes where appropriate. It doesn't miss the need for advisors or independent consultants helping out and even taking the time to review it yourself to make sure that that business plan is gonna meet your requirements. But can Copilot do more? Because it certainly can. In this scenario, I've got another document. Here it is inside of Microsoft Word. It's all around the best coffee flavorings and their popularity across the world. But it's a couple of pages long. What I'd like to do is simply create an FAQ from this document that I could share, maybe on our website or maybe in a blog post, but I don't have time to do that myself. So let's go ahead and open a brand new Word document. In our draft with Copilot dialog here, we can actually ask it to reference a file by selecting the button here. And then under the files, it'll look for other Word documents. I can select our coffee flavors Word version, it's recently worked on, and now I can actually get a prompt regarding that document. And I've done exactly that. We now have a prompt here. Create me an FAQ based on the flavorings inside of that Word document. It's gonna go into a blog post on our website explaining the flavors that we've also selected based upon popularity. I need to be written for coffee lovers and for the brand being the best coffee shop in the world. Let's go ahead and ask Copilot to generate that and see what it comes up with. And there we have it, Copilot's created a brand new document from content stored in a different Word document in my OneDrive. As you can see, the FAQs are all based around that content. What are the coffee flavorings and why do we use them? How do we choose those flavorings and so forth? Now, once again, I could then refine that content by going to the dialogue at the bottom. I could also change the tone. It could be less formal. 
So we can actually say make it less formal because it's going to go on our public website. So once we make it less formal, let's go ahead and send that through to Copilot to adjust the content we can see here. And there we have it, a new version is created by Copilot. You can actually see the tone has changed, but it can make coffee more yummy and satisfying. That wasn't there before because we've reduced the tone of that document. And yes, it won't always be perfect. We see here two questions in the FAQ. Remembering now when we click on keep it, well, we can begin to refine it ourselves. AI simply allows us to go ahead and create content that we can begin to work with, refine and also make better. But saving us time on getting the FAQ actually started and putting content in a document to save you a whole heap of time. That's a great example of using Copilot with content that already exists in your Microsoft 365 environment or your personal environment with Copilot Pro to create new content from without needing to start from scratch. So why not try that on your next document as well, see if it can speed up your document creation process. So there you have it. We've now created a range of documents using Copilot to help us out when it comes to creating our brand new coffee shop. And it didn't take us a lot of time to create that either, allowing us more time to refine it and do an even better job when it comes to creating our business plan. Now, if you like this video, I'd love it, hit that like button. But also let me know in the comments about what you think of what you've seen today. And also the power of Copilot when it comes to Microsoft Word and other apps. Not forgetting, if you need more from us, well, hit the subscribe button to find more great tutorials like this, or reach out at the link below where you can find learning courses, materials, and more, and even book time in with myself to help you and your team grow using the tools and technologies you already have in Microsoft 365, and even being able to download a free Microsoft 365 ebook. Other than that, I appreciate your time in checking out this content today, and I hope it saves you time when it comes to creating your all important documents. And other than that, well, I'll be seeing you on the next one.